Like everyone, I have some bad habits I want to curb. For starters, I tell myself I need to go to the gym, but never do it. Two, I procrastinate. And third, I can't say no to sweets. Hey, Brian, just got done with that donut. Shoot, got some extras. Delicious. Ah! So when I read and completed Hell Week, I jumped at the opportunity to speak with best-selling author Eric Bertram Larson about his five must-do rules during one week of hell. His first rule to success, get up at 5 a.m. every day. How much an advantage do people have by getting up at 5 a.m. every morning? I've studied the successful people since I was a kid. We know what we should do, and most people know that they should get up early. So in Hell Week, you have to do it. Next, no social media and no TV. Remember, it's only a week. Do people have a hard time with no TV or social media? Yeah, that, that is hard, but uh, during Hell Week you will realize how much time you actually spend on TV and social media. Third, exercise once a day. You have to like step it up on, on all arenas in life. Live your absolute best life for one week. Next, spend extra time on your clothes and your appearance. Do I need to go out and buy new clothes to, to satisfy this Hell Week? Appearance in itself is not important. Uh, the point about being aware of your appearance is more about the details. And finally, minimize conversations with colleagues. Hey, Brian, just got my uh, photos back from vacation. Check this out. How do you do that without offending somebody? Actually, preparation is a very big part of Hell Week. You should prepare for at least two or three weeks before you do Hell Week. Now, this experience was hard, but worth the effort. It forced me to change my bad habits and give me the confidence to get off my butt and accomplish something. Taking your life to the next level. Jimmy, come on, get, 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 get out of here. On The Breakdown.